She's been wow, 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 wowing fans in Europe, Asia and Australia since the 80s. But believe it or not, Kylie Minogue is still trying to make a big impact on the US. While she's hoping her latest CD might do the trick, just over four months after releasing her 10th studio album X to most of the world, it's finally getting an airing stateside. And she gave her first interview to launch it to the Today Show. In 1987, her remake of The Locomotion caused a commotion. That's enough puns for the moment. During her slot on the primetime program, the mini music star discussed her battle with breast cancer. I was fortunate enough to have my family with me to have incredible support. Rumours about old flame Olivier Martinet. They're not tying the knot, in case you hadn't heard. Oh, and just why those Yanks have found it hard to embrace her. It's a notoriously difficult market. Well, you've got so many different uh, denominations with radio. You're talking all these, you know, you could be, it could be the science lesson. You've got this CHR, the da 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 um, And to know where I fit within that market is sometimes difficult. She's had no shortage of support from critics across the pond, though. US magazine Billboard described her as one of the few pure pop artists to sustain a third decade without ever pulling a Britney. But Miss Minogue puts her success down to just enjoying her job. I love what I do. I surround myself as best I can with inspiring talented people and I guess I come to the conclusion actually that it's just what I do and that's when I was asked you know why are you rushing to get back on stage why don't you want to take a year off two years off I said, well no this is what I do it's my passion and Americans will be seeing a whole lot more where this came from the chart top is also doing dancing with the stars and the Ellen DeGeneres show in a bid to put her stamp on the states once and for all